Is it one color your penis or? Multiple shades. Oh, okay. <laughs> really? What? <laughs> Depends on the temperature. Uh, yeah. Wait, oh. so when do we start? <laughs> <laughs> when do you want to start? Whenever. No, I meant, did we already start? No, we don't start that way. Good. Cool. Good. But we do, do we, you know, we, we, we do turn it on. It can't, we, all this stuff is being recorded. Okay. So we might use it. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but are you comfortable? Not really, no. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't seem comfortable. It doesn't seem comfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Negative two, negative three, negative two, negative one, zero. Countdown. I went from negative two to zero, and that's just not how it works. Oh, me walking down the street, being so good to me. Yeah, yeah. Having see, I write too. I write music as well. Not everyone. Not everyone is singular, singularly talented. Mm. Some has double talents. Okay. So welcome to the podcast. I am the king, and I am the one and the only Bobby Lee. Give me a round of applause. I never get a round of applause. Woo! Woo! Bobby Lee! Yeah. And we got Kalila Kyun. Woo! Woo! More bigger yeah. one. We got this guy. What's up? Gilbert Galone. Flap, What's flap. Up? flap, flap. Yeah, yeah. White as white can be, man. Like snow, snow. Okay. No, no clap. No clap. No clap for him. No clap for George. All right. So, um... Our guest today, um, I've been scared. Not scared, fascinated, really, you know? A fear fascination, mm. Mm. you know? And i um, been Googling his stuff, you know? Watching him, you know? He's got <laughs> Chinese bangs, <laughs> you know? The Wuhan bang? The Wuhan bang, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. COVID light, baby, what's up? And he's also a singer-songwriter, <laughs> um, country artist. He's a personality on the YouTubes. Um, olive trees. Uh, no, olive, Oliver Tree. I, <laughs> sorry, I, I fucked it up. I fucked it up. It's okay. Uh, he, he, w- people, do people call you Olive Tree sometimes? Yeah, I've been called pretty much every name in the book. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can call me whatever. Yeah, wel- welcome. So give Oliver yourself. Tree. Oliver Tree. Give yourself a run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh. 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 It's nice. Um, I like your glasses. Thank you. Yeah. Do, I feel like, don't you need bigger ones? Oh, uh, these are actually great because you can have bigger ones on top of it. Oh. You can hide them and then you can have two depending on what the setting is. <laughs> All right. Setting. So you have two different settings sometimes. Yeah, well, check this out. Yeah, yeah. Uh-oh. These things are busted. <laughs> <laughs> They're broken. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. But I get the theory behind them. Yeah. Right? You can flip the lens down. Yeah, but I have what bigger I, ones. I, What I'm saying is you can get bigger no, ones. No, I have the, the same exact thing. same model but bigger. And what? And when do you use those? Uh, for important events. Mm-hmm. So this wasn't. I feel like those are actually the correct size for your eyes. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> and that's because my eyes are closed together. There oh, we go. Tiny. Yeah, uh, I have tiny eyes. Is an, you're doing a racist. I'm Asian. You can't. I'm Asian. You're doing too. a racist joke toward mine. It should I... be squinty or not it's closer small. together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know. That's probably for me. I'm a little cross-eyed. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, Oliver Tree is where are you from? Uh, Santa Cruz, California. Oh, sh- I just wanted to address the elephant in the room. So I've been trying to do this podcast for a long time, and you guys kept canceling it. I just wanted to know what happened, Whoa. what took so long, because <laughs> how many times did we reschedule this? All right, so do you want the truth or yeah, you want yeah. liasms? Uh, I want the truth. Okay, the truth is is that I never knew about those. Okay. <laughs> That's a good answer. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I literally, the first time I've ever, I'm, honestly, because I'm just so, like, into my own world or whatever, so I don't really know what happens outside of... What I'm doing, right? right? And what do you do? Mm, mm, I, interesting. I was wondering that. <laughs> it's <just> interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I was just curious. Yeah, I was like, yeah, what, yeah, what exactly yeah. does this guy do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah what, you know, it's like, it, what I've said to myself before you came here <laughs> is to be mindful of my guest and not to be hostile. Mm-hmm. I got some hostility. What happened? What happened? I came to the door and I tried to give him a hug and he was like... <laughs> yeah, it, it, well... 
Yeah. I was like, what's going on here? He's like a robot. You're like freezing <laughs> up. I literally was. And then I got him to give me a hug and he was like, he gave me like the worst hug of my life. And I tried to get a second hug. Yeah. And, and was, I said no. Yeah. He said no. And well, because um, we hadn't shaked hands yet. Is that the formal? Yeah. Well, the formal thing is like, let's introduce ourselves first. Mm. I'm my a hugger. Bob. I just go in for I get hug. it, bud. I get it, bud. But the thing is, it can't, you came in too strong. Mm. You know, for was, you. For you. People love hugs. They need hugs. I think everybody needs a hug. Mm. Yeah. I took the hug, didn't I? Yeah. yeah took I took the hug. That. Obviously, it was too long. Different vibrations going on between the two. Oh, what are the vibrations? Are Tell the me. Vibrations? I'm getting a very high vibration. <laughs> Yeah. And over here, yeah, yeah, I'm still trying to figure it out. Low yeah. vibrational human. Yeah, it's more of an Ethan vibration. Don't bring that name up around. Me. Yeah, but don't you think it's an Ethan vibration? Uh, both of you guys are bad vibes. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> uh, I, I, but I, I, but I, I, Ethan yeah. is mega bad vibes. He's he's yeah. like the very bottom of the barrel. Yeah, uh, well, he's got titties. Well, I wouldn't say that. I would say <laughs> yeah. he's a bottom feeder. And yeah, he's a bottom feeder. He's a clout chaser. Yeah. And um, first of all. I don't fuck with them. You don't fuck with them. Wait, can I swear? Yeah, you can. Okay. Yeah. I fucking hate that guy. Yeah. How about this then, dude? Uh, why don't I change my vibrations? Yeah, let's let's get you a little. All right. Bit so more. Uh, yeah. So how do I do that? Do I? I don't know. You yeah, tell me. I, I, I'll just shake my head. Just yeah. Shake my body. Shake it out. Yeah. Shake it out. Yeah. 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 Woo! Yeah. 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 What's up, man? You good? What's, What's up? On? Kawabanga, bro. I love it. Santa Cruz, right? Yeah. Tubular Shout dude. The nar, my man. Yeah. Nar nar. All right. So how's this? I like it. Yeah? <laughs> yeah? I feel great about it, dude. Yeah. What do I do? Yeah. What you do asked you? me that question, yeah, right? No. What do I do? I'd like to know. I do a lot, man. Yeah. Right? What I do is I play Stardew Valley. What's that? It's a video game. Mm. It's a farming simulation. I don't play video games. I actually hate video games. <laughs> <laughs> what else do you do? I also... <laughs> what, what, <laughs> what else I... What else I do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I listen to music. What kind of music? Not yours. You know what's crazy? Ooh. Yeah. I don't listen to music. Why? I don't know. Yeah. Not into it. Um, like Chopin, you if you hear Chopin. I, I hate Chopin. You do? Mozart. Yeah. I, I hate Mozart. You're like and no no classical. Zero music. I know what you like. What? The rude sandstorm. Oh my god. Okay. What do you like? That has a sweet spot. In what my does mind. he like? Sandstorm. It's what Vanderlei Silva goes out to. You know Vanderlei Silva. Uh, it's more like <laughs> Yeah, it's more like that Yeah, yeah You might know it Yeah, I imagine that's how you fuck <laughs> Just Yeah, yeah And she's like, this is weird I put that song on, that's for you Oh, you do? <laughs> Set the mood Yeah do you get, a candle Do you get laid? I'm not supposed to talk about that Yeah, yeah Am I supposed to say anything? Can I guess? May I guess? Yeah, they're telling me no. My guess is that you've come close <laughs> What about you? What about you? Wait, you're with him? I'm just kidding. I've seen all the drama. I know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, also, oh, you backed down. Yeah. You backed down from that. Yeah, you backed down. You backed down. <laughs> yeah. That was yeah, so, so sweet. You, you've seen Live Vagina, right? Excuse me? Live Vagina? What? <laughs> well, what I'm saying is, is that, you know, there's two types of vagina, right? right? Stuff oh. that you see... Online, yeah, or on the television, okay, right? Yeah, you because you can watch porn on your television, correct? Mm -hmm. If you mirror it with your iPad, I've done that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or wait, you, you've cast it on the TV? I have when you've been out of town. Oh, me too. Okay, good. Um, really? Oh yeah. Why are you shocked? Yeah, yeah. What don't, the hell? What don't, is... don't. I need it on that fifty-five inch Samsung. Do you put the dogs away? I don't. I do. You gotta put the dogs away. Why? Do you think I don't want know? my kids to watch fucking? You porn. think they know what's happening? Your dogs? Well, they know that my penis is out. Anyway, um, I'll tell you <laughs> that right now. But so, what I'm saying is, the people watch it on, you know, gadgets and whatnot, or they see it live. Like, have you seen a real vagina with your own bare eyes? I feel like I have one time. <laughs> there was like one or two times that I think I may have seen something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But um, I'm not supposed to talk about it. Yeah. Oh, so you're religious, probably, no? Yeah, I'm very religious. Yeah, yeah. Christ? Uh, I'm not supposed to talk about it. Okay, you can't talk about that. <laughs> I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's um, FLDS, the fundamentalist. Like, yeah, like, like Mormon shit. But like... Polygamy stuff? Polygamy stuff. How did you know? <laughs> I could just tell your whole outfit. Your it's vibe. the vibe. High vibrations. Vibe. Yeah, high, high vibrations. vibrations. Yeah. yeah, I dabble. You dabble. Yeah. Yeah. So I've, I've pretty much experimented with most of the major religions. Um, but uh -huh. lately... I've been just kind of, you know, I well, I'm not supposed to say too much, but I am trying to start my own religion. 
Oh, what? And that's. What? I honestly you said too much. Okay. I, can we just move to the next part? No, I don't want to because it's my show, <laughs> and I would like to explore that just for a little bit. No, I can't. <laughs> I really can't. I honestly wish I could, but yeah, yeah. it's too much information. How, how, what do we make a, a compromise? Yes. Something. If I ask you three questions, you answer them, then we'll move on to the next part. Oh. I mean, it depends if I like the questions. Okay, that's good. So olive trees. No. Oliver tree. Oliver, I'm sorry. My, I, why do you keep saying that? Because <laughs> you made it a bit. Now you forgot. <laughs> but it wasn't a bit. I, it's just like, do you like olive trees? I love olives. I'm like that's really it. What's your favorite type of olives? Mm, I only started liking olives about three weeks ago. What? Yeah, but well, I welcome tried. to the club. Yeah, I'm but now I really like them. Really? So yeah, yeah. I. You're not just saying that because I'm here. No, no, no. So I finally acquired a taste. I've been wow. trying. I've been trying olives every week for the last like 30 years, and finally yeah. no like, a couple of weeks ago, I was like, I get it now. I love them, and I put them on my That's fingers. And I, eat I like it. sticking my tongue in the hole of the olive. Mm. You know, you're getting me hungry. Yeah. So when I, I stick it in my mouth, you know, and I kind of just I don't chew on it. Yeah. I just try to get my tongue inside that little tiny hole. Mm. Feels good. I've never tried that. I you do should try lick it. them though. Before I eat it, I'll. Oh, the little hole? Not the hole, just the whole thing. I just uh, get uh, a taste, <laughs> get my hand on it, try to kind of feel what I'm getting myself into. Yeah. But you know about the hole, right? No. I've seen them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Let me ask you some questions about your religion. I'm not, no, I honestly don't want to talk about it. It's really perfect. Is there a God? Mm. I can't say. Okay. Can you nod? Are there other members? I'm not, dude. Dude, is I'm it. I'm not doing this. Is it Bible? Related. Is there a book? Is there a book? I'm not getting into it. Okay. I'm sorry. So I really, oh, it's, no, I it's fine. It's cool. It's cool. So um, you're not in a religion. You are in a religion, but you're not allowed to talk starting about it. One. What? Starting you're one. starting one. Yeah. Can I be involved in it? Oh. You can a answer that. Let me think. <laughs> what kind of person are you? Oh, I have low. I, I have really bad vibrations, like you said. No, of course you can be in it. Everyone can be in it. Oh, they can. And I think we could save you. We could help a guy like you out. Oh wow! Where do we start? Yeah, where do we start? I'm not gonna get into it. Okay. I'm not supposed to talk about this, and honestly, I think we might have to cut all this out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm being serious. Are you being serious? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So just put a note down, George, that half of the podcast so far is out. <laughs> is out. Okay. So, um, but you've been on Ethan's podcast a well, bunch of... I've been tricked into being on it. There was always different promises and things that were basically a carrot dangled in front of me. Uh -huh. And I never got the end of... Basically, the dudes never paid me. We we're supposed to split ad revenue, different things. And I, I don't know if we talked about this beforehand, but you guys are aware about the splits. We're splitting our ad revenue with... No, no, wait, 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 wait. Wait, do you guys do ads? Yeah, we do ads. ads. Oh, All right. Bad, well, bad question to answer. No, we don't do ads. Ship station. station. If you want things shipped, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> we, you guys. We. You know, we have an e-commerce business. We s sell merchandise, and we rely on ShipStation. They're the best. When you run a business, time seems more precious. Every misplaced moment feels like a missed opportunity, a lost chance to make your business better, or even just to step away and recharge. ShipStation automates time-intensive shipping processes so you can get back to focusing on bigger things like developing new products, honing your marketing strategy, or interacting with customers. It works with all of your storefronts, Amazon, eBay, Etsy, and more, and lets you automate all of the manual work that goes into shipping. No wonder ShipStation is already trusted, trusted by over 100,000 sellers. It's time to let go of all of those shipping tasks. ShipStation can do it better and faster. In fact, 98% of companies that use ShipStation for a year keep using it for as long as they're in business. Guys, it's time to let go of all those shipping tasks. ShipStation can do it better and faster. Sign up using promo code BELLY for a free 60-day trial today at ShipStation.com and start saving time with every shipment. That's two whole months of shipping made quick and painless, and it's free to try. Just go to ShipStation.com, click on the microphone at the top of the page, and type in BELLY. ShipStation. Make. Ship happen. <laughs> we do we don't zero do there are no splits. No, so what you're saying to me is, and I didn't know this, and I, I'm, I'm willing to talk about it, but for you to come on my program, mm -hmm. right? It's Of course, everything's paid. Right, so we have to pay you. Even though we've had Judd Apatow on, we didn't pay him. Who? <laughs> I'm serious, who is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just a director. Okay. Producer of movies. Well, yeah, I've never heard of him. Yeah, Jordan Peele. We've had him on. Okay, I do know Jordan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't pay him. He's a legend. 
I'm yeah. surprised he didn't take any money. He's doing good. He's making movies. Right. Oh, so you're not doing good, so you need the money? I'm down bad. Oh. Oh, oh you're and struggling. And also, I wanted to ask if you guys have any opportunities for investment or anything like that. I'm, I'm down bad. I need something. Well, knowing you now, I just had a, a business idea. Let's create a meth lab. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. You have you, have look you ever done meth? I have. Me have you? Yeah. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You started at 11. I started at 11, Stop. 12 years old. Yeah. I did and you still do it, I presume? No, I'm sober now. Me too. You really are? Yeah. How much sobriety do you have? Um, I got off weed a year and a half ago. Uh-huh. And I was smoking a pound a month a day. And I just wasn't getting high. You're you know? smoking, smoking a pound a month a day? Yeah. What is that sentence? <laughs> a pound a month You're a day. You're smoking a pound? pound? Uh, I would sort of <laughs> just absorb that. Do the say, math. Yeah, yeah. Do the math on that. Let's take it slow. So, do the math yeah, on yeah, that. Let's, uh, do yeah, the I'll do the math on, on that, all right? So... <laughs> You're smoking a pound <laughs> a month per day. day. All right, so I, I get it. So you were smoking a pound a day. Exactly. <laughs> okay, good. No, but I was smoking. For a whole month. One pound every month for a day. Oh, for it. <laughs> Wait, I don't know if that helped it or made it, yeah, yeah, made it yeah. less clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get it. I do and I don't. Yeah. What about that? That works. Yeah, how much method did you do when you did um, it? Just a couple times and not... Really on purpose, mostly on accident. Oh right! But I was up for multiple days, and it was it was bad. Yeah, got a little scar underneath one of my eyebrows from a little altercation I had on meth. Oh really? What happened? Um, and if I don't want to talk about it. Mm. I'm sorry. That's just it's Korean. It's Korean. What'd you say? It just means that. Um, <laughs> welcome to the show. <laughs> welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Uh, we're not gonna pay you. Um, we'll talk about. That. We'll talk about it after. We're not gonna, number one. We're not gonna pay you. Mm -hmm. Number two, well, what? Maybe we'll talk about that after. Okay. Um, or can we just stop the episode? No, we're not gonna stop further. How, what, what, how about this? Why don't we? Why don't we do this? You're right. We don't, we're not stopping because right. you're here, right? Yeah, I did come out here. You did come out here. So, here. um, here's the deal. All right. You came out here. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about it after the show, right? And then if we do air it, then you can probably do a lawsuit. Well, I don't think anything will be airing unless we get this sorted. So should we just stop the episode? <laughs> no, no, no. I, I think we should finish. Can we don't cut you the camera? Is, is this your producer here? Uh, that's my right-hand man. Your right-hand man? Shoot. Did you not talk with him about this beforehand? No, we didn't even know you were coming. Mm. No, I knew you were coming today, okay. but I just didn't know that we had scheduled you before and then you had... I mean, how many times did we try to schedule this? <sighs> Maybe like three. Three. Three times. Three, yeah. Are you being real? Yeah. I think so. And then but, the, it, but the last reschedule was not on us. Is that? Oh, they're all on you guys. No, what happened? I think one was on Paul. I've been waiting. Paul who? Time. It's between Paul and George. My guy. All right, so I what happened? Paul. Paul? No. <laughs> yeah, 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 you guys yeah. don't get a lot into a lot of stuff, do you? <laughs> we do. It just depends on the vibe. Yeah. Okay. Um, no, I just, certain things I don't like to talk about on camera, so. Yeah, I get it. I wish I had that list. <laughs> yeah, what, that would have been You nice. didn't send him a list? No, they, you have a list? Of course I have a list. Yeah, I would love to have a list of things. Can we maybe send it to them? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That dude is just going to bring up everything. Well, what about this? On the list. What about this? Uh, 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 I don't trust you. I don't trust you either right now, Oliver. I'll be honest with you. I don't yeah. trust someone who doesn't hug a person who's yeah, I don't, into the I don't home. trust a guy, right? That comes you live here, right? Yeah. No. Oh, you don't? No. <laughs> this is just your hang spot. This is my hang spot, dude. <laughs> All right, so, yeah, I don't live here. I've never been here before. Now, let me say something to you, okay? I see a lot of pictures of you. <laughs> yeah, we put this up, and that's why George makes a lot of good money. You're the guy who makes all this stuff? Y yeah, he made it all. He gets a cut share. Yeah, he, gets a he painted all of that. Ad share. Yeah. Wait, is that a toy of you right there? That is, actually. That is a toy oh, of Oh, that's me. awesome. You yeah. think I could have that? No, you can't. Yeah, that I... would go really good at my spot. Yeah. What does your spot look okay, like? Okay, I don't I... actually live anywhere. I have two suitcases, <laughs> and I literally just travel, so... <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where I could put that. Yeah, but yeah. Maybe at my manager's spot. Yeah, but, but so where, where you sleep? Where do you sleep? In hotels? Yeah, I live in hotels. Yeah, probably Motel 6? It depends. Mm. Residence in? Well, usually, like, when I get brought into a podcast, they take care of me. They'll drive me out, get me, like, a limousine. Did we not do that, George? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, you know what, Oliver Tree? I am so sorry that we didn't accommodate. Number one... It's a my bad, and I want to, you know, because I've ch I've been changing my ways. You have. Yeah. How you have mean? you been changing? <laughs> you, well, I've been going through therapy, and That's you know, good. what? That's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
Thank you. What kind of stuff are we talking? You working on yourself? Yeah. That's important. It's important. You got you... a lot of work to do. I can feel it. Because of my bad vibrations? Something like that. Yeah. No, but I feel like... But you know you're not perfect. You're a shell of a person. No. Fuck. <laughs> that hurts so bad. But you're... you know what? I think there is a person <laughs> inside there. And I think there may be a great guy in there. Deep down inside? Yeah. Yeah. I really do feel that. I feel like there's a really sweetheart guy who's scared. I am scared, man. You were scared to hug me. Oh. Yeah, I think I was. Yeah. You were for sure. Yeah, you just have weird hair and beady Bro, glasses. come on. You're going to start dissing on my hair. I, that's one of the things I don't like to talk about. <laughs> don't touch the hair. Yeah. I'm just saying, I've never seen, like, that's a kind of, you have sort of like. It's a bullet. Bull cut mullet. It's bu a bullet. Oh, you have a bullet. Yeah. A bull cut mullet. Yeah. I never heard that. Thank you. For yeah. I feel like Asians sort of pioneered that. Yeah, later. Asians did pioneer that. Did you know that? Are I you giving credit it. to China? All I know is. Yeah. I came up with the name of the bullet. I know. But you didn't come up with the hairstyle. I don't know, man. Nothing is truly original. He said, thank like, you. Like, did you come up with that hat with all those holes in it? <laughs> no, I did not. Do you have a mice problem? What's going on? <laughs> yeah, no, but bro. Dog problem. Let me say something to you, right? <laughs> yeah. I never claimed that. I don't. I'm not calling this a bullet or some sort of name, right? Right. right. It's just a fucking beanie, right? What do you call it? It looks I like call it's it been like, shot a couple times. Yeah, yeah. With a shot up. Uh, uh, That's interesting. I've never seen anything like that. Yeah. So, but Chachi, can I call you Chachi? Dude, you can call me literally anything. Yeah, yeah. I'm a straight shooter. <laughs> right. Chachi. But Chachi, anything. right? I'm going to say that you're, you're pointing fingers and talking about me. I'm not pointing fingers. I know, but you, you know what I mean. No, I'm just get, trying to get to the bottom of it. Okay, get to the bottom of me. But let's get to the bottom of you. Sure. All right. Yeah. You've got problemos too, por favor. Of course. Right. Can you name some of them, and you're going to talk about them. What? I got a lot of problems, but I definitely don't like to talk about them on air. All right. That's but, on the list. But one. So that's. How about this? Why don't we start this? Name me the top. Name me the list. I'm not telling you. The yeah, list. yeah. Rattle you're, me off the fucking. No. Rattle me off the fucking okay, list. You need to bring it down here, bro. My bad. That's my bad because you're the what guy. What about hobbies? Hobbies. Not. You really want to know? Yeah. So right now, basically, as someone who's an addict, which I'm sure you can relate with, uh, <laughs> addiction just doesn't disappear. It's about hopping it over to something and hopefully something that's more positive and um, not so destructive on yourself or other people. So for me, I'm a workaholic. Uh, everything I do, I don't really know how to stop. Mm. Uh, but it's all stuff I love to do, so it's not... It's not bad, but right now I'm just exploring some new things. Um, I just finished my third feature film screenplay, so I've been writing a lot. What's it called? I'm not going to say. Okay. I don't want to talk about it. Okay. Uh, but <laughs> that was the third one I wrote in the last two years. Uh huh. So that's been like a passion project for me. I've just been doing that because I really love to do it. I just want to be really amazing. Is it a romance movie? It's not. Action? No. Horror? No. Is it a biopic? No. Is it sci-fi? No. Uh, uh, I was just trying to figure out what else. What other documentary? No. But I actually filmed 20 documentaries. Is it 22 <laughs> now? In the last four years. Yeah, we're filming 23. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. Oh. I released a couple of them online, but we have... Could you name the couple of things that you did release? Yeah, one of them yeah, thank you. is the behind the scenes of how to make a million dollar music video. I went to Ukraine, filmed a music video where I jumped off of a building and shot army tanks off in residential neighborhoods and a bunch of different stuff. Uh, Before no, Russia invaded? Yeah, I have went. I filmed one in Russia as well. This last summer, I, I was living there for four months. Yeah. And I filmed a documentary on that, but that's probably not going to come out for a while. Right. Um, and yeah, I went, like this year I went to, I love to travel. That's one of my passions so this year i went to morocco and egypt i was Beautiful. there for a month and i filmed a documentary out there i was finishing mixing my country album cowboy mm -hmm. tears cowboy tears yeah yeah and then um filmed a documentary in india i was there for a month and then i was <laughs> i'm not kidding uh, I, I, i'm just laughing it's not funny i know it's not funny i just can i just laugh i prefer if you didn't all right <laughs> say, say say it again then and I, i'll try not to I filmed a documentary in India for one month. I don't see what's funny about it. Who's the, wait, is there a camera on him? No. Are you going to pick up the laughing or no? Yeah. What is so fucking funny? You, you know yeah. he directed Bollywood movies. He in ripped India. It. No. Yeah. Okay, yeah. you're a legend. 
I like this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Already. I early. feel like it should be you and you in the seats. Yeah, yeah. Me and, right here. And where do you think I should be? Out? <laughs> no, no, no. Bro, what? You, I, you know, it's you so can funny. sit there for a little long. It's so fucking funny, dude. Maybe we'll do like musical chairs. I was, because I've been watching you on uh, on Ethan's podcast. And it's a very popular podcast. It's, one of it's honestly not that popular. It is one of the best. It used to be a lot more popular. And he got Ethan's a very good friend of mine, and I, I just think that he's a really talented guy. I would. And when you that. when you're combative with him, I thought, you know what, Ethan's a little too hostile toward this guy, Thank Oliver you. Trees. And I was like, you know, it's I, Oliver Tree. Whatever. Um, it's not plural. It's just Oliver Tree. Yeah. It's my real name. Yeah, I said Oliver Trees. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's Oliver Tree. Oliver Tree. I mean, yeah. Oliver, I'm sorry, Olive, mm. Oliver Tree. Yes. I'm sorry. It's okay. My bad, my bad. So my point is, is that I, um, you know, I was like, you know, Oliver Tree is, <laughs> Oliver Tree, I just want to say it right. Oliver Tree mm -hmm. was coming That's good. on. That was it. Thank you. It was going to come on. One to more my, time. Oliver Tree. Oliver Tree. That's what I said. Yeah. All right. And I think you're being racist. You were close. I think you're being racist. I'm not being racist. Yeah, because the thing is, is that guy because some of my Asian accent came out, and then you had to correct me. Yeah. All right, don't turn this into a racist thing. Yeah. You've been well, calling me Oliver Trees since I got here. Uh, exactly. And then you called me Olive Tree as well. Yeah. Exactly. One more time. Oliver Tree. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Oliver Tree. It's hard to say. I guess, but I think it has a nice ring to it. Yeah. All right, keep going. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Like if my name was App Tree and people are like Apple Tree, it's just hard. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, Apple yeah. Tree. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for the laugh, Gilbert. <laughs> so the thing is, the thing is, is this: is I was wondering why Ethan was so hot, but then I get it now. Why do you get it? Because already, like you know, I was gonna be like really kind and. You Bro, know, you wouldn't even hug me when I came into. I'm fucking house. sorry. I think, and you're so kind. He's always such yeah, a good guy. Yeah, but you don't guy. know me, dude. The, the thing is that. The, you you don't fucking know me, man. So I open what? the door. You, you don't even you, like you, you open your day. fucking arms up, like bring it in. I know, but the thing is, is that you come up with the little glasses and the fucking hair, and I'm going, what the fuck is this? Can we reset and pretend that you guys are meeting for the first time? Should at we the start over? Hug. Should we do a hug? All right. I think that's the core of this situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so ring the doorbell. <laughs> you gotta ring the doorbell. You know, uh, uh, but you were there. Come Here we go. You were there. Let's get a hug in. All right. Okay, let's get. All right. All right. Hey. One this time, not a scared one. All right. Oh wow! Holy wow! 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 He's trying to pull away a little bit. Keep him in. Okay, that's enough. That's oh. Enough. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Okay. You okay? I love that. That was great. Yeah. Good job. That wasn't so hard, was it? Yeah. It, your hug is okay. It, there's a lot of shoulder into it. I lean into it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't like it, but um. Well, oh. I tried. Yeah, but it was still good. I felt I felt something. Yeah. Yeah. You know I mean, I don't know what the feeling is yet, but I'll have to think about it. Yeah. But it, it, but if you were on like a deserted island, right? right. And you had a DVD player or whatever, right. and you could choose ten DVDs. Yeah. What I and the and for some reason on this deserted island, you, there's electricity. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. And a television. You have a flat screen, a little building with electricity yeah. with a DVD player. Yeah. And Wi-Fi. And, and Wi-Fi. And Wi-Fi. And you get ten right. And one of those machines that they had in Star Trek Next Generation, okay, where it, like a food simulator. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you wouldn't cool. die. You know what I mean? Uh, sounds amazing. It sounds amazing. Would you live on an island with me? I would. With a food simulation and, and only ten DVDs. I'm trying to think here. Yeah. How much would you pay me? Oh, millions of dollars. I love it. I would be there. But we'd never get to spend it because we're on the fucking island forever. It sounds pretty fun. But you'll be in bank. You'll know it's in your bank account. Right. All right. I feel like that's the thing with money. It just kind of sits there. Yeah, I feel like if we were on an island, you, how many days would it take for us to fuck? <laughs> this guy's a straight shooter. <laughs> um, I'd say five. five. Five days? That's pretty quick, dude. That's quick, dude. Let's look at the food simulator. See, that's what I was reading when you gave me a hug in the front door. Uh, You're a five-day fuck guy, right? And so you had that sexual energy. I've never even had sex. Yeah. So I wouldn't even know. Maybe five years. Maybe five lifetimes. Hopefully five lifetimes. Right, but you said five days. Pretty quick, too. That was pretty quick. I don't remember saying that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I could imagine you and I are on this island, right? Mm -hmm. Five days in, you're already hitting on me. 
This is quite the fantasy. <laughs> it is. Mm-hmm. So what? What's the DVDs that we have? Ten. That can that's you name a them? lot, man. Five. We have five movies that we can bring, and we have to watch them. <sighs> that's hard. Yeah, three. Three movies, man. That's a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> what about two, bro? <laughs> name one. Yeah, just think. fucking one movie, name Oliver. One movie you like? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want to say. Yeah. Anything by? Oh well, I would say Yohimbo. You would say so, directed by who? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm yeah, yeah. trying to blank. I'm, I'll literally, try. I'm running on two hours of sleep. I understand that, but try. I already said the name six times. Japanese. I'm not good with names. I already told you that. Kurosawa. Kurosawa, of course. I was literally about to just <laughs> You were about to say that? <laughs> yeah. No, no but, top movie ever? Yeah. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah. But I think top three... Okay. No, I like. Mm, I'm drawing a blank. Yeah. Okay. I like this one movie. Yeah. Called, Describe the movie. Um, Maybe we can come up with the name. Or just figure it out. Have you seen Taxidermia? Taxidermia. Mm-hmm. You mean not? Are you thinking of Taxi Driver? Mm, maybe that's what. It was. <laughs> no, Taxidermia. Oh, Taxi der- Taxidermia. Never saw it. Taxidermia. Is it about um, a guy who? F- Stuffs dead animals. Humans. Oh, that's what I want done to me when I pass. Oh, I want to be mounted on a wall. Uh, I no, half your I, body. I don't want to give it away. I don't want to give the movie away. But no. you would love it if you want that. You should check this movie out. Just my pussy, babe. That's my favorite movie of all time. Really? Yeah. I want to watch that movie. Taxidermia. Oh, one cans. Nice. It did one cans. And when does it come out? Is it, it came out like maybe. 12 years ago no maybe maybe 15 oh I gotta watch that movie it's a banger and who who directed it I really can't say Grigor Pali Taxidermia that sounds that looks good is it a horror movie no it's a, it's a romantic comedy it looks like a romantic comedy it's like based a on the it's uh it's definitely not a rom-com yeah is it's it a comedy is it funny no is it scary no you there's no feeling then associated with it it's a roller coaster it's visceral, I'll say that. It's visceral. Okay. Might be a little bit. I think some of it might go over your head, but I think you might like mm, it. Thank you for saying that. Mm-hmm. God, that burns. I once watched uh, the last movie we watched together was this no, French just, film. Can we just address? Yeah. No, but I also wait, want to address the compliment. <laughs> yeah, wait, what were you saying? Uh, there's this movie we just watched um, that our friend Aquafina recommended, and basically in this movie she has sex with automobiles. Oh, yeah, I saw it. Um, what's the movie? Titan or something? Uh, Titan. Mm. I saw it. Yeah. Titan. We saw it together. Yeah, we saw yeah. it. Yeah, I like What'd Titan. I like automobiles, man. Vroom vroom, man. Right? Don't I like you love the, the sound? Side. Yeah. When you're driving. You're a big car guy, I can tell. Oh, you can tell, right? Vroom vroom, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I saw the cars out front. Yeah, baby. Whoa. That's how we roll, dude. You know what I mean? You guys ride them next to each other? Yeah, what do you drive, <laughs> dog? All my stuff's in storage. Right, because you don't have a place to live. Yeah. Right. How do you get around? This guy right here? That's my driver. Yeah. Is he are you Jewish? <laughs> <laughs> why can I know that? I don't know. Why is that relevant? It's not relevant. I just want to know if he's Jewish or not. <laughs> are you Jewish, Oliver? What do you think? You are. No, I'm not. You are. No. Okay. Are you? Maybe. Are you? Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Uh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm not. But But you've have you heard of it? Well, I've dabbled. Mm-hmm. Oh, you've dabbled. Yeah, I've told you. I've you've experimented in, with pretty much in, in all the major religions. Right, right. But I'm not at the moment. No. You're not. Mm-mm. Um, in terms of religions, is there one that you're re- leaning to, or I really you don't, don't want to talk about it. Idea, I get it. Yeah, you don't yeah. want to talk. Religions about it. kind of like it's a, it's off. But yeah, up. but you do believe in a god. You can I, talk. You can say that. No. You can say that. Do you believe in a god? I really should not. Right. I might have to go. Why? I'm just kidding. Yeah. I want to hang out. Yeah, hang out. Do you, so do you perform live with no. your music? You thought about it. I thought about it. I was I like, think we go great. Oh. Yeah. I will say. Yeah. I'm about to go on tour. I've I been on tour you. for the last year. I know, but I just asked you if you Well, I just remembered. <laughs> I'm about to do this tour and I have a very special announcement. I am throwing my first festival August 4th Petco Park. My first festival is finally coming, and I can't say the acts that are playing with me, but it's called Fire Festival. 
<laughs> and it's going to be fucking crazy. I think it's going to be the greatest concert it's been, ever put on. It's been... Can we... It's been done we before. have that? It's been done before? I, I Don't they have a fire festival? Yeah. Can yeah, you watch the documentary? Hulu, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where? Yeah, yeah. I even brought you guys a little gift. Yeah. Oh, great. This is my festival. Uh-huh. Oh, it's a correct with real oh, fire. Oh, real, fi real fire. Yeah, it's the real deal. Petco. Park. Park. Yeah. San Diego. Petco. Petco Park. This is the first time I'm announcing it, so it's a big deal. Yeah, no, I'll, right. say, I'll say it right. I'll say good, right? You think maybe you guys could hold it up? Yeah, yeah, yeah sure, sure. We'll, also, not, we'll hang it up, too. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I was thinking we could probably put it over that portrait of you. Yeah, uh, yeah. Or maybe, yeah, I mean, In fact, if we could get it, like... Here's, here's what I'll do. I'll, here's what I'll do. Yeah, you, right? I like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that's fine. I think it will probably live longer there, you know. Well, uh, oh, wow. He's never he's never taken that. Wow. Taking this off. Hey, wait. You think maybe we can make a trade? No, no. You can't have that now. Okay. And then, uh, nice. Nice move. Fair enough. Can you reach that high, sweetie? Can we get him, <laughs> can we get him a stepladder or something? Wow. There it is. I love it. So I, I'm first announcing it here. Roman, you guys, I have ED. My PP don't work. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it, sometimes it, it, sometimes it, sometimes it does. Sometimes it does. Doesn't. But you know what? When the moment arrives, when I'm when I, what I mean by that is intimacy. You need to be ready and Roman ready. Whether you've been in a relationship for years or just getting started, having the confidence that comes from preparation means you're free to enjoy the moment when the moment comes. The truth is. ED is really common. In fact, 52% of guys aged 40 to 70 experience some form of erectile dysfunction. Hello. Go to get <laughs> Did you say hello? Yeah, sorry. Oh. Go to getroman.com slash belly now to speak to a U.S. licensed healthcare professional about erectile dysfunction and get $15 off your first month of treatment. And also, Roman's system is completely confidential and totally discreet. No big logos or labels on packages. So, you know, when it comes, just tell your girl, hey, it's uh, a Nintendo Switch game. And it's really nice <laughs> when you... It, the benefits of ED treatment can help you reconnect with your partner and rediscover the joy of sex. Go ahead, babe. I mean, Gilbert. <laughs> Hey, getting started is simple. Just go to GetRoman.com slash belly and complete an online visit. Once again, go to GetRoman.com slash belly today. And if you're prescribed, get $15 off your first month of ED treatment. Make sure you're ready to have confidence and control this summer. Roman ready. So I'm first announcing it here. Thank My you. first festival ever. An exclusive, guys. Yeah. Exclusive. Um, I assume they're going to walk out. No. No, it's gonna be fucking crazy, bro. That's really and that's the beginning crazy. of my last tour ever. Yeah, uh, Cowboy Tears, one last ride, and we're going across America for that's amazing. The final time. Can what I? Some, what oh. are some other world records you'd like to set this year? Oh, do you know about my world record? Oh, we know yeah. about it. Yeah, I broke. I built the world's biggest scooter and I crashed it um, back in 2019. And um, can I ask why you chose the scooter? Is well, it because you were part I used of the to be a professional yeah. scooter rider. Yeah. <laughs> What's so fucking funny? Mm -hmm. I, what are you laughing about? Dude, I'm about to walk. It's joy, dude. I can't feel joy for your accomplishments. I feel like you're laughing at. But me. you're not. not you're making. You're you're interpreting it in the wrong way. All right. What's so funny? I when I feel happiness and joy, mm -hmm. I laugh because I feel the joy. Right. You know what I mean? So you can't judge. I think you're being racist, dude. All right. That's we need how, to cut that out. No, we don't, because that's how Koreans, <laughs> you know what I mean, express joy. I don't joy. know what you mean. So I'm telling you, okay, right? Different cultures do things differently, right? That's true. So Oliver Tree. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Actually, I prefer Doctor or Doctor Oliver Tree, but you can at least. You're I'll take you one further. Yeah. What if I call you Sir Oliver? Ooh. That's not as good. I think. Okay, Doctor then. Doctor is uh, defined suffice. All right, so Dr. Oliver Tree. Mm -hmm. Or just doctor. Doctor. <laughs> doctor. So doctor. Mm -hmm. What are some world records? Some other world, and I'll try, if I feel the joy, I'll try not to laugh. Right, so yeah. this was the scooter. That's the scooter, amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, and that took a long time to find the funding. No one really wanted to help me pay for that, so. I, I love the slides, but yeah, what are some other you. world records you have? Is that you on it? That's me. In your um, future, do you think? Um, 
Well, <laughs> I wanted to build the biggest pants. I was just under with this. Oh, uh, really? Who made them? Um, I did. Mm. They look I, like Jinkos. Yeah, they look great. Thank you. Can you break dance with those? I feel like you can. I dan- I've been known to dance, yo. Yeah. <laughs> I got some crazy moves. Yeah, I could tell. You guys dance? Yeah, I dance too. He's a big dancer. I'm a big dancer myself. You're, you're a TikToker. I I've saw. TikTok'd. I saw like some of your TikToks. I've TikToked. Things. I've TikToked. Are you into it? I'm into it, man. You know, give me some other world records. Well, I'm not really supposed to talk about this, but Guinness. I don't think they're gonna let me break anymore. They've been pretty upset with me yeah i can get i can see why because when you have somebody like you're basically in terms of world record you're like the cristiano ronaldo what is that yeah what is that you know who cristiano ronaldo is no what is it it's a what it's who is it it's not what is it who is it he is one of the greatest soccer players mm. alive football right so i'm pretty sure they want to set some rules against him too bro Right? Really? Yeah, because he's, yeah, so you're basically the Cristiano Ronaldo of Guinness Book of World Record. And so people are just threatened by you. And I guess Guinness is basically going, no more. That's him. That's you, mm-hmm. dude. And you guys are very similar. In we have a very similar body. Physique, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, although, I, I'll be honest with you, mm-hmm. if us three were on an island, mm-hmm. I would go to him first. But after a couple of years, I would be sick and tired of that. And I would go to your hut. Why do I have to be stuck on an island with you and not you? I you know. That's what I'm wondering. Because I because will not allow I, it. You know what? Because she wouldn't I'd fuck get you. us That's out why. of there. Right. I'd get us out of there. I'd fuck you. You seem like a problem. Yeah, but she wouldn't and fuck you. And you seem like a problem. Ooh. I, I am a problem. Yeah. I, <laughs> I'm your biggest problem. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? At this point. Yeah. <laughs> But seriously. I'd feed you fish. You yeah, I love this idea. idea. You look like a fancy turtle right now. <laughs> Excuse me? I'm about to walk. No, no, don't, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Can I'm you just saying. Be nice. I'm just saying. I, I will. I'm just saying. Can you say something nice now? All right. I've been literally the sweetest guy this whole time. I, I know. I'm, I'm just literally saying you look like a fancy turtle. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, dude. Fancy. I like that. Yeah. But are you offended by that? Wow. Well, that's true. yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there are worse turtles you can be. Right. <laughs> that's you right now, dude. <laughs> I'm down. Yeah, yeah. That dude looks so that's a cool. I need a monocle next for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I will say, yeah, I did like this idea of us on this island. You and I, just us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Tell yeah, me yeah. about it. Yeah, what would happen? Um, I don't know. We're just hanging out. I play you some music. I sing for you. Yeah. Make you amazing meals. Um, on pretty a, much on just, a deserted island. What coconut milk? What are you gonna? Bro, it's not a deserted island. We have a crazy castle there. Um, Dessert island? Dessert. <laughs> <laughs> Dessert island. I like the sound of that. Does I, does I, we would make our own. Is it deserted, dessert. right? No. Yeah. A desert island. Oh, you would make a dessert. dessert. I practice gratitude. Yes. So I'd be very thankful and I would return the favor tenfold by always making sure there was a bounty of fish I love this. to grill, mm-hmm. um, that there would be a bounty of coconut to eat, wow. that there would always be wood to burn. I take good care of you. I love the sound of mm-hmm. this. Yeah. That's what I've been looking for. Would you guys sleep on the same? Of course. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You'd rotate. Honestly, if, you would? If, Babe, yeah. look at me. You would? Yeah. This fucking hmm. distorted turtle. I here. think the problem. Excuse think, me. I think what you're not reading, Bobby. I think yeah, what you're not reading is yeah, like yeah. the fact that when you're on, when your vibrational levels right. are aligned, we're yeah. connecting. Yeah. That there really is no resisting or fighting the urge between two people. That's a fact. Mm. Dude, like you're a normal guy, but you look like you're propitia. Pro- 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 progeria. Progeria. <laughs> <laughs> progeria. What is that? Progeria? It's basically, it's the yeah. opposite of Benjamin Button. So when yeah, you're yeah. a baby, look up progeria. you look old. Yeah, it's you, really sad. You don't have this, but you look like you do. Look. I'm not pulling it up. Yeah, why? Well, Just look at Pull it up, man. <laughs> pull it up, man. Right? So, yeah. So. so. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Go. All those yeah, poor yeah, yeah. kids. They're poor. Wow. Yeah, but that's what... what <laughs> Bro, this bro, is so what is funny. wrong with you? No, what, what is wrong with your I face right now, dude? What is wrong with you? <laughs> what is wrong with your face right now? That's you without it. <laughs> without what? Without having it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Bro, you... You're right. I, I you are walking a very I crossed line. the line. I'm sorry. Do you want to have in and out after this? 
I'd love to. I, I'm sorry. We would love yeah, to have. We would, we would love to have. Can I come? Mm -hmm. No. I'm coming though. Not after the way you've been acting. I'm so for the last sorry. 30 dude, first of all, I'll apologize. Right? Yeah. I coming. called you a fancy per <laughs> I've turned a lot. That was wrong. Well, that, that was, was one of the nicer things you said. <laughs> I know. That was threatened, right? Okay. And I just said that you had. Did you. Why were you threatened? What? Did you feel, I feel that? Like you know, when an alpha male walks into the room, yeah. did you start to feel, no, no, no. wow, maybe this is. This yeah. guy might. You know, was it threatening? I'm just going to say this, dude. If you and I were in a tribe, we're gatherers. You are a gatherer. No, we're gatherers. I am. An alpha male. So you would go out and hunt me? Of course. No, you couldn't, dude. Why not? They, the fucking horse would fling you off. You, <laughs> Bro, I grew up yeah, going like to a horse Reeves. ranch every year. That's why I made a country album. My parents own a horse ranch. I grew up going every single year. <laughs> You'd be surprised. There's a lot of things you don't know. Don't judge I, a book by its cover. I adopted a horse. What? You have one still? Mm. No way. You have a horse? Well, it's in a... Um, being... Since we don't have space for a horse, right. clearly yeah. in this home, right. she's being taken care of in a, yeah. like a horse sanctuary. But How I, often do you get to see her? I was just there in the desert wow. past weekend. Yeah. I'm sure, it's nice to get away from him. Occasionally. See, that's why. Mm. That's why I said the fancy turtle. Progeria. And that's how I said progeria. Right? Mm -hmm. I said propecia at first. Propecia. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> <laughs> I said propecia. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. Yeah, see, that was weird. I'm not laughing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You know, I know you're not laughing. I know you're not laughing, but you know, I think Propecia does apply. It does it? Yeah, Why? a little bit. Yeah. You, well, what is Propecia? Propecia is the pill that you take when you're losing your hair. Okay, and what's the disease where you lose your hair and you can't? You're allergic to your own hair growth. I don't know what's that called. It's alopecia. Alopecia. I think that's what you mix both. In yeah, your I did. Head. Yeah, I had like a brain aneurysm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're like alopecia. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sorry, my bad. So. <laughs> I, you know what? That was not wrong of me. Yeah, how about this? I said something negative about you, dude. Say something negative about me. Dude. No, I don't operate on those vibrations. All right. That's very low. Oh, I went low. You're acting like Ethan Klein, for Christ's sake. Mm. Yeah, but Stop. I get Ethan right now. Why? Because he's threatened by the alpha man I, I, who walks you, into the room. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, if that's what I'm feeling, I'll have to analyze that. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at him. Mm, oh, like Elton good. John. Pretty good. I'm about to walk. No, no, oh, please. I'm about to walk. All right. El John's a very talented man. That's true. Yeah. Um, you, we don't know how old you are. You won't say that. Mm -hmm. We don't know really much about you because you <laughs> want to remain a mystery. <laughs> yeah. Right? right? But uh, yeah. can you help us with this? Yeah. We do a thing at the end called, and you can't say no. because You can say no, but it's just a part of the show. What is it? Well, so we have a, a segment called Unhelpful Advice, and people have problems, and we try to give them, you know, Mm -hmm. Solutions to their problems or not. And what? Where do I fit in here? You, could you help? Yeah, I could help you. Well, thank you. You need an attitude adjustment. <laughs> you need to start treating your guests with respect. Okay. I mean, look at her. She's a shining example. Like just nothing but kindness. I come in, mm -hmm. an amazing hug. You know, and yeah, I'm gonna have a long conversation. Literally, I'm gonna have a long conversation with Ethan tonight. Look, should we call him? Leave Ethan out of this. Ethan's not going to answer. We'll see. Yeah, let's see. What is it? I, I'll call him. Please don't call him. Yeah, I'm going to call him. I fucking hate Ethan. I know you do. <laughs> <sighs> Please don't do this to me. Give me his number. Here. <laughs> <laughs> what did you whisper Bro, to me? Bro, this is <laughs> bad. Give me his number. His you have his number, but he does <laughs> You know it by heart. I just didn't save it. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I forget to save it. Just, you, you only have um, Hila's number. Really? Yeah, yeah call Hila. Well, I'll say this. Hila's very badass. She's yeah. way cooler yes. than Ethan. Hey, call Hila. Yeah. Tell her to put it. Call Hila. Yeah. She's not going to answer. She's busy. She's running a Fortune 500 You were texting company. today. Texting today. I highly doubt that. <laughs> Do you see? Look at this guy. He's trying to flex. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't believe it. Okay, we'll see. Okay. Ethan. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Speaker first. Ethan. Yes. It's Bobby Lee. He answered. I know. All right, so <laughs> I have this fuckface olive trees. Go fuck yourself, Olive Ethan. trees on my podcast. He's being a real asshole. Are you guys are live right now? Yeah. Not live. Why, did, why didn't you ask me before you invite him on your show? I would have told you not to do it. Fuck you, Ethan. I, I, Suck so, my It was so dick. difficult. He wouldn't say Shut it. Shut the fuck up, Oliver. You're a fucking punk-ass bitch. Dude, this guy's a... Dude, I swear to God, his music sucks. Shut I know. The I, fuck I, I, up, dude. Three billion streams. How's that? Suck on that, shut big up, boy. Dude, let me talk to Bobby. 
Moron. Yeah, I should have called you before because this has been a nightmare. <laughs> How long have you been doing it? Just Over show. an hour. It's like he won't say anything. I go, what? He would say, I'm, strong, I'm, I'm forming a religion. I go, tell me about the religion. He goes, I am not allowed to talk about it. It's just bullshit. He just lies. He's like a pathological liar. That's not true. Seriously. And then, like, he, as soon as I opened the door, he wanted a hog. I'm like, who fucking does that? What's he? What's he got? Like his fake ass mullet with the extension. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you, Ethan. He, he had to go to the dressing room. He had to go to my room and go. I have to change. He has hair plugs, by the way. Shut the fuck That's up. That's fucking Ethan. hilarious, man. All, You're fucking punk. It's all plugs. It's all plugs, right? Yeah. yeah. Shut the fuck up. You know, I called him a, uh, I, I, what I call him a f fancy turtle. He looks like a fancy turtle, and he got all butt hurt. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know, right? Yes, turtle. Fuck you. And I, you know what I also <laughs> said? I said that he, look, he looks like he has progeria, but right. without having progeria. <laughs> That's, oh, my God. That's so true. It's so true, right? What is what? progeria? It's that, it's, that, it's that one disease where you, you, so you look really old as a little kid. Oh, he's like Benjamin Button. Yeah, like Benjamin, but yeah, in River, yeah, when he first, yeah, was born, yeah. You know what's crazy? His what? career's like Benjamin Button. He had one hit with Life Goes On and On and On, and then every new song gets less views. Jeez. <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you so much for giving me that. Ethan! Yeah. Fuck you! Yeah. You're a fucking Thank you so punk. much for giving me that information. Ethan! Yeah. Yeah. Let me yeah. talk to him. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, talk you're him. talking to him now, fuck Oh, face. I want to talk to him. Because you've been rude ever since. I've been asking you questions this whole time. <laughs> you won't give me any fucking Dude, information. Dude, you've been an... Fucking asshole too. I have not been. Dude, you made me my enemy. <laughs> you, made <laughs> you made me my own enemy, man. <laughs> you made me my enemy. All right? And don't make me myself of the enemy. All right? That's what you did. You know, fuck. there's a special place in hell for people like you and Ethan Klein. Yeah, what? what, what? It's called heaven? <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, right? ha, ha, ha. Like Ethan? How much are you paying these fucking guys it's laughing at heaven, shitty bro. ass jokes? All right, so next time. I'm about to fucking walk right now. <laughs> You're not walking, dude. I'm walking. You're finishing this thing, and we're not paying you. Go fuck. He asked for money. Fuck off. Oh, yeah. Ethan, no, tell your accountant to wire the fucking yeah, money. I'm I, done playing games. I, I, I have him blocked on my phone. This fucking guy owes me for the last three fucking episodes. He told me he was going to pay me once in person as I did the next one. He keeps dangling the fucking you, carrot. I never said I was going to pay you anything. For That's me. fucking bullshit. We agreed on a 55-45 split in my favor. And I blocked you, and now you're getting to me through Bobby. I like your tongue's moving. Yeah. <laughs> I, love I think he's getting turned on right now. Yeah, you know what, Ethan? You're turning me on right now. He's been turned on the whole I, fucking I time. <laughs> yeah, bro, I fucked up. The, the second I walked into the fucking house, Shut dude. Up, Oliver, Shut up, up, Oliver! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's the deal, dude. I think I fucked up this interview because I came in real serious and tried to be, be right. But I think what I should have done up front has been hostile. Oh, yeah. Well, you kind of, he doesn't give you any choice. He's like, he's like the biggest bitch I've ever Yeah, met. he's been, shut like, the fuck up, dude. He drove me into yeah, this. Bobby, yeah. You remember the Gatsby that you crashed when you did an interview a while ago mm -hmm. on our show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he took the Gatsby and he fucking hit me with it. Yep, he I did do that. Hit me with the and that was the greatest That's moment of my fucking on life. On our property. Yeah, you're banned from the property. I don't give a shit. I'll well, show up should. whenever I want. No, you can't. And yes, I'll, I can. Hey, Buster. I'm about to leak the address of your shitty little location anyways. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at him, look at him. So next time you fucking palm me off one of your fucking lose-lose, all right? Just warn me before. You should okay? be so fucking lucky hey, to fuck have you, me here man. on this Don't ever fucking podcast. talk to me like that. Man. She's the only one you know holding the fuck this I shit am, together. Man? Do you know who the fuck I am? No, I don't, and I still don't know what the fuck you do. Well, I get it. <laughs> Get with it. Google it. Well, you're a guy who has holes in his hat, dude. <laughs> That's all I know about you. Yeah. He looks like a fucking homeless man, Ethan. That's true. I won't argue with that. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> I'm not going to argue with that. Yeah. I'm not going to. Yeah. Anyway, dude, um, I love you. I'll talk to you later. Okay. But oh, next fuck time, off. Let me talk yeah, to him. Just wrap it up. You've been through enough, Bobby. Just wrap yeah, it up. Yeah. 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 This has been a tough one. Yeah. After what you put these beautiful people, I mean, beautiful person. Yeah. And. Anyway, dude, Bobby. this guy's a freak of <laughs> I don't even remember his name. Just Ethan. I'm going to wrap it up. I want to talk to him. All right. All right. Ethan, go fuck yourself. Fuck you, man. I fucking so, hate that guy. Yeah, yeah. You're so bringing anyway. out a really bad side of me. I don't like to bring that side out, and that dude every time brings it out. Yeah, you've been an ass you, since you've been here, man. Bro, what? When I came fuck and you. offered don't talk you a to me hug? like that, no. I know. That, we, you need to just calm down, dude. All right, I'm going to tell you something. Ethan's gone now. Yeah. We don't no, need you to got carry me all that energy up. through the whole episode, okay? Okay. We were having a nice conversation. Barely. You got super jealous and got super <laughs> eggy, and the vibes just went... 
Oh, eggy, huh? What's yeah. eggy? You look like a fucking egg, dude. Right. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Eli, I look like an egg, right? You know what? It's racist, right? Because inside the egg is yellow. Stop. And you're saying that I'm yellow. So you're, you're, are you? No, oh, you, you just, look like. You just got viral, dude. You like, look you like. I got canceled, dude. You just called me a fucking egg. Bro, dude. you look like fucking Humpty Dumpty. Shut the fuck up. I look like Humpty Dumpty, dude? Yes. Like Humpty Dumpty fell off the wall, dude. You oh, fell the fuck off. Okay. After Mad TV, which is the only thing I know about uh, uh, you. Yeah, 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 you yeah. fell off I the fell fucking off. wall, I, I, Humpty uh, Dumpty. Right. I am. Yeah, look. So I, my, my egg broke after Mad TV. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. At least I was on the wall. Yeah, that's true, uh, man. That's great. At least I was sitting on the wall, right? That must have been and real nice. And when I was nice. sitting on the wall, you, nothing for you. Yeah, I was three years old at the time. <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah. literally playing with Toys in the Sandbox, happy right. as I ever have been. Yeah. Before I started meeting people like you and literally monsters like Ethan Klein. Right. <laughs> No, Ethan's not a monster. Yes, he is. No, he gets he's not. canceled every day, and I'm sure you probably do too, but you're just not popping enough that anyone sees this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dude, I, I love it. you went from television to a fucking podcast. Yeah. Bro, it's, I know it's, it's dark. It's pretty it's dark. dark. I mean, isn't it true it's that you're dark. too scared to perform live? Yeah, like, I am. Dude, come I mean, on. I do shows five times a week, but... Okay, well, I've heard rumors. <laughs> yeah, yeah. From the rumor mill. Yeah, yeah, but You're... I can look at the lineups, you know, every night. <laughs> yeah. well, times a night I, don't, I wouldn't know because I've never heard. No, you wouldn't know because I'm really in the comedy game. You're not. I'm not. No, I'm not a comedian. And yeah, I, yeah, no, yeah. I would never. You're not in any game, right? No. But I'm in the game. Yeah. You're not. No. So don't talk to me that way. Well, guess what? What? I'll talk to you however I damn please. I know you will. Dumpty. And the thing is, what'd you call me again? Dumpty fucking Dumpty. All right, I, dude, I, I'm going to call it's... Daniel Day Kim. It's almost like he's saying Ching Chong. I know, it's Ching Chong. Yeah, you're doing uh, Ching Chong, dude. What, dude? How much are you paying this fucking guy? <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable, dude. Yeah, yeah. Wait, well, slides him the hundred dollar bill. Yeah, on the yeah, table. yeah. He gets. I don't paid. like you. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, Gilbert. I don't dude, like you, dude. and I like you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. you don't like Asian men. Right. You don't like Asian men. Oh, yeah, because the white guy. Asian. Stop. You like the Asian. white guy, right? But Asian. you don't like the Asian walking, men, right? But you want the Asian women? No, no, sit down. We hate you. Don't fucking touch it. Sit down, dude. Sit down. Relax, dude. And hey, don't fucking push You're me in my own house. Up my hair, bro. All right, dude. My bad, dude. <laughs> I think that we should hard reset with a real yeah, hug, hug this a time. A real hug. A real hug. Yeah, yeah, real hug. Hug. I'm not, I'm not, no, you're hugging. I'm not hugging him right now. I'm, you're hugging. I'm not hugging him right now. I will not. Oh, I'm not hugging you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about... Yeah, yeah. That was amazing. See, here's a dude. Here's a dude. Not First cool. of all, you, I could press... the hair. I could press charges for you push me. Bro. Right. For what? For what? For pushing me. That's assault, dude. <laughs> for, for what? You have pushed me, dude. I didn't touch you. Anyway, um, one of my best friends, Ethan, was just on the line. Stop. And uh, so here's the deal, dude. You didn't even know his number, dude. Stop playing. Who are you fucking kidding? He picked up for me, did he not? I don't know. Would he pick was up for you? Was that even Ethan? I don't know. Is that another one of your guys you pay? Whoa. See what I mean? Mm. Gilbert. Mm. You know what he's calling you? Stop. A paid bitch. No, he's calling me a paid chink. Yeah, oh. Ching Chong. Oh, no, oh no, 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 He's yeah, you yes. do probably bruise like you a banana, bru dude. Oh, banana. What's banana? Yellow. Yellow. <laughs> oh, you f- oh, right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sit down. Sit down. Don't touch the hair. All right, sit down then. Sit down. You sit the fuck down right now. <laughs> <laughs> what did you fall for? Like that? Chill the fuck Wait, out. What did you I'll fall fuck you up. Chill out. I'm chill out. Chill out. I got you. Talking to a guy who took Logan Paul, a guy who's double my size. Oh, fuck you. Fucked up Just my whole fucking hair, dude. All right, dude. All right, dude. All right, since every time you leave, that you're gonna assault me. Don't leave, all right? You're a Why pussy. do you want me here so bad? Because your fucking ratings are literally non-existent. Do you want me to help you? I would love that. Hey, Thank you. Hey, Can you come sit stop, over stop, here? No, no, no. No? No. If you go over there, yeah. we have a very big problem. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you're not Sit going down. over there. Come on. No, no, no. Come Shut the, the fuck up. Good side, the you light. fucking weasel. It's just Excuse some me? hair Bro. help. All right. She's just going to help with the hair and then she'll So here's gone. the deal, all right, dude? You assaulted me three times. I didn't do shit. Okay. All right. I literally didn't do fucking Your hair shit. is dumb, dude. <laughs> it's the is dumb. It? Is yeah, it? yeah. It's like people love it. Yeah, it's like um Guess what? Everyone's going to have this care. Everyone's going to care. Learn how to speak English, Gotta bro. Gotta cut that out. All right? No. I'm getting worked up. Uh, all right. Sorry. My bad. Let's, let's start from anew. Yeah. All right? 
Apologize for assaulting me. And we <laughs> I'm not apologizing me. for shit. Only thing I'll apologize about is I misspoke. Okay, you said a couple of racist things. You called me egg yolk. Stop. Yeah, you called me a banana. Uh. Right? Yeah, Humpty what? Dumpty was white for the record. But inside he was he yellow. He didn't have an egg inside. No, him. he didn't. He was just a Was he not shell. yellow on the inside? Just a shell. Yeah, he's a shell of a man. Right, oh, but people, oh, but all my life though, disgusting. people have been saying that I'm like, you know what I mean? No, you're shaped like a boiled egg. Yeah, you, you're very. Are you round. siding with him? No, no, no. I've always she's called right. You that. She brings up a great point. You look like a big boiled egg. <laughs> <laughs> a big boiled, <laughs> actually a small boiled egg. You're quail mean, egg, quail egg. Yeah, quail egg. You're a like quail, a egg? quail egg. She's yeah. right. They're delicious. You, you're amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Big ass fucking weird ears. Excuse me. Yeah. These beautiful things. These are multi-million dollar ears, okay? Yeah. I hear everything. All right. I got go. my ear to the ground. So at I have my pulse on the culture. What do you have? <sighs> you fell the fuck off, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Is that fucking funny? Yeah. Look at it, this uh, hair. Yeah. You wish you had hair like this. Yeah, bro. I wish it. Show me. This is the hair of a fucking multi-millionaire. Ooh. Look at that, dude. You look like a homeless man. Ooh. Okay, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that's way cooler than your stupid little hat with holes in it. How much you pay for that hat? It's a Teddy Fresh hat. Oh my god, no <laughs> looks like shit. Yeah, high Look, quality. I love you, but high quality. On, we can do better. I bet that's one of the designs Ethan threw out. He threw like three different designs. Yeah, are all stuff that literally is falling apart. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, interesting. It's good stuff, man. Yeah. Where were we before all the uh, drama? Yeah. Because no I feel like we were having this great conversation of mm. us living on an island together. I think there was some something said about us we... potentially even staying in the same villa. I'm thinking this castle is going to be crazy. I, and you don't even have to worry about the fish, the coconuts. I've got chefs. I've got you to take mm. care of. Imagine this fucking fool coming inside you. Disgusting. Mm. <laughs> <clears throat> right? I mean, come on. That's fucked up. Anyway, let's do, the, <laughs> let's do the unhelpful advice. Unhelpful advice with Oliver Tree. Unfortunately, at the age of 23, I lost my first and only baby. Oh. And since then, I've whoa, not... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gilbert. Gilbert. Jeez. There were lighter ones you know, in that? We should, this one is from Sam. We should read this one. Who's Sam? It's a big fan. She's a female? She's a big fan. Okay. Oh, and you know her? God. I don't know her. How do you know she's a big fan? Because she emailed you? Yes. Yeah, big fan. Says, email us. Email. I'm a big fan. Let's start from the beginning. Do we need to hear that? Hi, I want to. Like, that's a part Hi, of. Hi, I'm a big fan. I unfortunately, un, I unfortunately, at the age of 23, lost my first and only baby. Terrible. Jeez. And since then, I have not tried to get pregnant again. However, that's not where the story ends. The night before my miscarriage, I dreamt I was abducted by aliens and they took my baby. Wow. Now I can understand this sounds nutty and it was such a surreal dream. I do remember being in like a steel table while they did a procedure. I never saw them directly, but I had a cold feeling that they wouldn't go away and I kept repeating, please don't take him. When I woke up, I immediately felt an agonizing feeling in my gut. And I quickly got up and went to the bathroom where I started to bleed out. The whole experience was so heartbreaking and since then I've never had a dream like that again. My question is, do you believe that this was just my mind preparing itself for what, uh, what was to come? Or are we truly not alone in this world? Start from the top. I unfortunately, at the age of twenty-three, lost my first and only baby. I'm so sorry about that. So, uh, but she's saying that she's saying that she she wants to know because she, she believes that it could have been aliens that did it. Is what? It is. Well, my question is so like, does she think her baby was abducted or just killed by aliens? Because it, during a miscarriage, when you do a DNC, you can see the mm -hmm. the the, mm -hmm. the baby's remains out of your system well her question i think the real question is this is for all of you do you guys feel like our body will tell us stuff in the mind to prepare ourselves for something a that's thousand percent there's this that's thing what... called auras before people get seizures mm -hmm. or migraines people get an aura before getting or having car going into cardiac arrest your body definitely gives you tons of clues about what's to come before it actually happens so yeah or also aliens well yeah, go ahead, wise one. May I? You may. <laughs> may I? He has nothing to do with nothing. Unbelievable. I'm just trying to help a fan out. Go ahead. If you'd let me. I am I letting would you. I'd like to, yeah. I was going to put a secret out there, something that I wouldn't normally say, but I think in this Can situation. I ask a question? Wait, Excuse I want to hear the secret. For me. Can I just ask a question before the secret? Say it. Go ahead, what's the secret? Are you still talking? 
No. What do you want? Why don't you shut the fuck up? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna share a very big secret. Something I just. W- hey, zip it. Okay. Okay. I'm sharing a secret here. Go ahead. And someone wants to listen. Okay. I'm giving honestly. This is a fact, and I've met this person. I don't personally consider them like a friend. I don't have their number, but I did meet them, and. I'm very close with someone who's close to them. So it's secondhand information. Mm. Um, they didn't tell me this themselves. It's very personal. That's what secondhand is, yeah. Can I finish? Thank yeah, you. go ahead. Okay. So someone that I know, and I really shouldn't share this information, but <clears throat> since it's anonymous, I don't think it's as big of a deal. Uh-huh. But they were very deep into the alien world, and their wife isn't. She doesn't really give a shit about aliens. And Mm -hmm. basically, one night he was visited by a gray. And he said, it's the scariest thing ever. That he did tell me in person. He said, have you ever met an alien? I said, well, no. He said, it's fucking terrifying. And they visited him at his house. Would you please stop? This is ridiculous. And his wife doesn't believe in aliens. Mm -hmm. She doesn't really want to hear him talk about aliens, but she loves him, and she does want to support him in his endeavors. But basically, Longs... Is he always like this? I'm literally sharing some fucking crazy information right now. It's like the worst, longest, boring story. It's like, get to the fucking thing, man. Power through. Power through, man, because it's like... Wait. You're losing me, you're losing... Uh, I'm, the I'm, audience. I'm I'm tuned in. I'm listening. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Appreciate that. Mm-hmm. I'm glad that you're here. Okay, man. <laughs> Finish the <laughs> fucking story, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I am. I know you're glad that. You, yeah. <laughs> you're thirsting for Kalila. I get it. May I finish, sir? Yeah, Captain. Go ahead. She doesn't want to hear about aliens, and she's. <laughs> we know that. <laughs> We know that part. I'm not going to tell it. Now finish it. Oh, now you want to know. What? Oh, now you're so, it's so important. It, Maybe it, I shouldn't. No, forget it. Can I just, how about this? Don't no, you the may f- not. How about not? I'll say it. The night that they visited him, this is the first time he ever met them. I don't know if he ever met them again after this, but the night that they visited him, next day she woke up and she said, I had a dream where there was these big gray aliens that were here. She said she had a nightmare. She doesn't believe in aliens. She doesn't want to talk about it and feed into it too much, but she had this dream that these aliens were at her house the night that they met him. Hmm. So I'm just going to say that does correlate with this story. Yeah. And this is, this is, I'm being dead ass right now. Yeah, I believe you. Maybe you should have kept that to yourself. I'm not done. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting on to the advice part. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah. What's the advice? So my, my, my bad. The advice is you shut the fuck up and let me talk. Because <laughs> okay. I'm about to spit knowledge. Go ahead. And you... Shut the fuck up. Little egg shaped. <laughs> 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 you need to start listening because you can learn a lot. <laughs> um, <laughs> see that? These are the people you pay. So mean. So mean. <laughs> Even they know I love it's it. true. I love when people are mean. Um, where was I? Oh, yeah. Uh, basically, the advice is, this doesn't need to be a sad thing. This doesn't, yeah, I'm sure. It's sad. She lost her fucking baby, dude. Shut the fuck up, bro. (laughs) This needs to be just looked at as something, because it's all perspective-based. Everything in life is perspective. So you could say, wow, oh, man, this was such a shitty day. This X, Y, and Z happened to me. But you could also be like, wow, I just got out of bed today. Wow, I'm alive and all my fingers work. It's perspective-based, so you could live your life. No, you may not. <laughs> okay. You may feel, oh my God, this is... And, and, and everything, tragedy, I'm talking about at the core of it, this is the most important time for something like this. You could live your life. Stop, dude. I'm just... I'm, I'm, I'm so, giving you an authentic moment here. All right. You're so literally bad. ruining it. Okay. Like, really bad. Like, I'm about to walk. The advice <laughs> is... Change the shift the perspective. Yes, this is really something that was horribly traumatizing. This is something that is changed your life forever. But 
maybe this baby. What are you? La- <laughs> what are you laughing at, dude? Dead baby. Mm-hmm. I know, but it's serious. Like, Dead baby. I know. Maybe this baby is out there, and could be alive. If this is the case, change the perspective. Maybe there's a world where this baby is going to do something insane. Maybe it's going to be part of connecting us to that. Right? Maybe one day you'll even could see this baby. I don't know. I'm not going to put any thoughts out there. Yeah, maybe I'm the baby went say, to Korea as part of PTS. I'm just saying, don't even, let's say, worst case scenario, you're never going to see this baby again. Could I say something? Maybe this baby is an offering to do something truly incredible, and maybe it doesn't have to be looked at as the truly traumatizing experience that that person went through. Very good. Come on, that was great. What great advice. Wonderful. I don't know. I'm just trying to... You're really good, dude. You change the perspective. Yeah, change the perspective because you don't know. Life is just... The baby could be somewhere else. shit sandwich after saying. another, like, coming to your show. You and should honor the pain. That's so true. Honor the pain. And, and, and not be so quick to switch perspective. No. You should I'm just, honor the, the, the... Take everything I say with a grain of salt. This is just my shitty advice. What's the segment called? Unhelpful, unhelpful advice. It's meant to be. So mine unhelpful. is very unhelpful. Uh, yes. No, I thought it was super helpful. But I just was saying, you know... Just maybe there's one world where your your mind can go there for a second. I agree. Everything I like you that. I bad. like the idea that one day they could reunite and that baby could be the joining force between that alien race and us. Mm. I think that's a beautiful concept. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know what they call that? What? An olive branch. Wow. They call like olive olive her branch. An olive branch. I love. Can that. I say one last thing or to close? No, me? I don't think that's. I'm going, I'm going to. Um, in the 1950s. Um, during the days of the circus, Barnum and Bailey, they had people that performed in those circuses called pinheads, mm-hmm. right? Can you look that up? Absolutely. And I just realized what Oliver <laughs> Stop. Tree is. Stop. He's a fucking pinhead from those old Bro, circus. Bro, literally, just, literally. That's look. what you s- wanted to say. Yeah, the whole time. <laughs> that's, Do you bro. know what that call, that's called? What? It's called microcephaly or anencephaly. He, that's what he has. And that, and now that I have, now virus. I have sympathy. I have sympathy for you. you get that right? from the Zika virus. You got a Zika virus or something. <laughs> <You> just, <laughs> real quick, pull up a picture of Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> <laughs> Gilbert, your your job is on the line. Please, please, please do just, not. You told me to respect the guests when they're on here, though. Thank All you. right, do Humpty Dumpty then. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> the one in the blue on the right. No, no. <laughs> No, no, no. The one right there. Yeah, George, yeah, yeah. George, 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 with George, your little hat George, with the holes in George, it. George, 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 you're laughing a little too loud. Can you put the hat back on? All right. Yeah, I will. I'll put the hat back on. The blue one. I will. Yeah, click on that picture. I'd like to see that blown up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, but that the profile one over there. No, nope, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. the one. This is the one? Yeah, that looks just like you. It's yeah, yeah. uncanny, the resemblance. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, I'm literally. We're, we're both freaks. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. I am a freak for sure. Yeah, me too, man. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with it. The truth is. And I think that's the message of this podcast today. I'd say the fact is, Yeah. why the fuck would you want to be normal? I mean, who really is? People that just want to blend in. Very good. The life that I live, I stand out. I am a freak. Yeah. I fucking love it. And people embrace that. You know, people would way rather talk to a guy who looks like me than a guy who looks like you. Exactly. Um, no, but I'm just another saying, racist thing. But uh, yeah, but okay, don't walk. Dude, this, don't walk. I'm about to walk. Don't walk, dude. You know. Also, he reminds me of like a combination of all the things I've said. Right? Mm-hmm. There's a little Kid Rock in there too. Mm. Right? I do get that a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a little Kid Rock in there too. Yeah, mine. Is, not, none you know of those how things many are Kid Rock things. shows I've been to. How many? I've yeah. been to three Kid Rock shows. Yeah. Can you believe that? Yeah. Two in Vegas and one at the. Gibson I don't know why you would theater. do that. So you like Kid Rock? I used to love <laughs> when I first came to America. When I first came to America in 1998, I was 15, and my mom from Penny Lane bought me two, what she thought was like the most American albums, which was um, a Limp Bizkit album and a Kid Rock album. Even though I asked for a Rage Against the Machine Mm, one, she didn't give me that. She was like, here's this guy, and she gave me Kid Rock, and I was obsessed with it. So it reminds me of... Did you find him attractive? I used to find him I'm trying to get out of this podcast, man. (laughs) Yeah. I do get told that for I look to, a lot like him. For you to go to a ki- on a Kid Rock rant right now, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is insane. I'm trying to get the fuck out of this thing. I mean, I'll say this: I don't believe in many of the things he stands for. Yeah, um, but I would say we do share a very similar look, and I'd say I look a lot more like him than 
the distinguished turtle or whatever the other thing was. <laughs> distinguished turtle. <laughs> way, it's way better. Wait, it's way better. Distinguished. But yeah, yeah, I mean, you're a distinguished turtle. I would exactly. say, I would say, yeah, we, we share some similarities for yeah, sure. Yeah. But yeah, politics I mean, as well. Excuse me. Politics as well. No, I'm. Sorry. Yeah, I don't I get tell. into politics. But I can tell. I don't want to. But um, go there. in fact, you know, I want you to call the uh, you know, FBI or something because I'm sure he was there on January sixth. Um, excuse me. Yeah, January sixth. You know where you were, bro. You're a fucking insurrectionist, bro. I just want to say this. Yeah. Fuck you. Hey, fuck you. Because Give Oliver Tree a round of applause. <laughs> Oliver, <laughs> yeah, anything yeah. to plug? Here's, a d- here's some dates. We got some dates here. Hitting Australia. Dope. Um, I know no one from Australia watches this show, but um, we also are in America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> I love it. Well, if you're an Aussie, these shows are about to sell out, so you would maybe want to get a ticket right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, yeah, we're hitting America starting at Petco Park, where I'm doing Fire Festival, uh, my first and last festival. And then this is literally the end of my last tour ever. So if you ever want to see me perform, the show has a wide range of things. I mean, I do everything from uh, live music, of course, but also I do storytelling, motivational speaking. You're going to be at the... Comedy. Arvest. Let me just say this really quick. Um, I do scooter stunts. I do WWF wrestling. Um, and I do belly dancing. And then music-wise, we do every genre. So the show spans from pop to rock to hip-hop to dance music to country with my new album, Cowboy Tears. And I actually have a gift for you. Yes. You hear that <laughs> for me. And Aww. this is the box set, which I personally oh, packaged yes. myself for you. Thank you, my and, sweet um, boy. That is something that has a T-shirt of me as well and some other memorabilia. Which he's going to be at the Rave made. Eagles Club. I googled it. Four hundred capacity. Stop. We're playing roughly. <laughs> so that's what you were doing. That's not the case. <laughs> hey, just so you know, Petco Park, my festival, yeah. six thousand cap. We're playing yeah. roughly. You know. Four to to six thousand cap rooms, so yeah, yeah. you can look it up. There's multiple rooms at different places. Google I don't know what room Google you looked at. You might have been a comedian room where someone like you might go. I mean, how many tickets did you sell in Los Angeles for your last show? About millions. Because we did the shrine the sold out five thousand. Wow, baby. Sylvie. So I don't Sylvie. know. It was crazy. The two people who opened up with me had never even played shows before. I mean, we sold it out well before the show happened. I mean, Sylvie's pretty good. Twenty five hundred. There's some smaller ones in there. Yeah. But this is a lot of places I'd never played before. This is That's great. Middle of America. Good job. So, but Amazing. Yeah, there's some stuff for you and make sure he doesn't get his hands on it because I think he might try to break some of this stuff. Is that a uh, puzzle? The oh. album's in there. You should check it out. Yeah. I made a country sure. album over the course of two years during the pandemic. I, I see you brought two of these, but you're not No, I'm that one's for me. No. <laughs> that one. I want mine, man. Can I have mine? <laughs> Let's wrap this up. No, I know that I have one. You want to take this? Yeah. All right. Good night. Good night. All right. Bye. Take this. Yeah, we're headed out. Yeah, I can't have my... The camera, bro. I... Bye, guys. Nice, guys. Bye. How did that, how'd you <laughs> that went? <laughs> <laughs>